Hi guys, this is Viper and today we're having a look at Space Run Fast and Safe Deliveries I played it quite a bit, as you can see here <laughs> And I must admit, I really enjoyed it It's really rather addictive game actually, I got it and um, me and my nephew were playing it for 90 something minutes And we didn't think We'll be playing it for that long, like I said, we just got hooked on it. It's one of the games you can quite easily get hooked on. So, what I'm going to do is load up a different profile, which I created quickly. <laughs> earlier. Well, back two minutes ago. And we're going to play it. And we'll show you what it's like. The year is 2525. Space is no longer the final frontier. Mankind has spread out to the farthest reaches of the known galaxy. Those far reaches are dangerous, filled with space pirates, deadly asteroids, and random anomalies. That doesn't mean the people living out there still don't want stuff. That's where I come in. I am Captain Buckman. I pride myself on being the best fracking pilot in the galaxy if not the universe. Back in the day, I flew for Earth Force. After that, I won the space racing tour three years in a row. Thing is, past accomplishments don't pay today's bills. In order to make some quick cash, I've adapted to the times by becoming a space runner. These days, I deliver packages to the far corners of space. My motto? when you need it there yesterday. Great news, Captain Buck, sir. I have picked up a transmission from Outpost Omega 36D. BC, the biggest transport company in the known sectors, is looking to hire space runners. What does that have to do with me? I'm an independent, a lone wolf, a, a maverick. Ah, well, not to cloud the issue with facts, but a glance at your accounts shows you have exactly zero credits. And I admit, business has been slow. Maybe I need to snap your motto. Or a new website. And due to a string of, let's call them, bad breaks, you do owe the mob far more than zero credits. I can't believe the Android rugby team didn't cover the spread. Okay, I guess I can listen to the offer from BC. I've contacted BC. Their CEO, Susanna Siren, will give you their terms when you reach the outpost. Before our arrival, I want to make sure you understand a few basic features of our ship, so you can live. You can see our ship in the center of the screen. It is composed of hexagonal pieces linked together. You can also see our command bridge. This is where we are standing. It is the core of our ship. No matter what, don't let anything bad happen to this bridge. Okay, okay. You can change the view by moving the mouse cursor to an edge of the screen. To center the view on your ship when it is off screen, click on your ship icon. Good job. Time to hurry a little now. Being fast is the key to becoming rich. Let's build a nice new thruster on the ship. Here we go, we're gonna build a new thruster. I've activated the two. Look for the small yeah. once selected. You can place the Ooh. thruster on the ship simply by clicking on a valid location. Which is the back one, or the back. To go. Great. As I am sure you are aware, space is a dangerous place, filled with pirates and asteroids. Let's get ready to take them on. Now the weapon so Laser cannons can be oriented before placing by using the mouse wheel. This is very important for your success. Use the mouse wheel. Great job, Captain. You've made me proud. Remember, weapons shoot automatically when a target comes within their range. Every construction you build will require hex nuts. Nothing is free these days. The good news is when you destroy asteroids and other ships, they will usually drop some nice hex nuts for you. Move your mouse over the floating hex nuts to collect them. If you don't, they come close to your ship anyway. They stay where they are, pretty much. So. Hello. 
due to the volatile nature of our business, constructions are bound to suffer some damage during our trips. If a construction is damaged, you can repair it at the cost of some hex lights. To repair a construction, click on it. Then, click on the repair action. There's how much it costs to repair the top there. And here we go. Adaptation is an important aspect of this job. If you don't need a construction any longer, you can recycle it. To recycle a construction, bring up the action menu of the construction by clicking on it. Then click on the recycle action. There we go. Don't know why you'd want to recycle it, but. Good job, Captain Boxer. Now that you know the basics, put them to good use to ensure our safe arrival. Nah. Remember, if we die, we don't get paid. Well, no. Really? Who would have guessed? Here yeah, this is what we have to do. So, right away. So you have a bit of money Ready here. for action. Oh, come on. One more engine. Here there's something more asteroids at the top. Wrong one. So we could bring it there. But up here will be better. Get these ones further up top. Ready for action. Look at that. Right, we're on the one. Basically it's a flat it's a tower defense game. But instead of having um, like a, a map to put it on, you get different ships. Which makes the game interesting. I say it gets really addictive but later on. I say this is like I said, the beginning tutorial. So it'll take a while before it gets uh, interesting. Right away. Oh, yeah. Thruster ready to burn. Yeah. Mm. Doing all that. Go for some more stuff in a minute. One quick hit on wow. oh, the station. Can't believe we're alive. I mean, good job. So once we did like the first level mission or whatever after this one. Mr. Buck, Captain Sir, I have Susanna Siren, the CEO, CFO, and all-around head honcho of Big Cargo on the line. Let's not keep the lady waiting. Mr. Mann, thank you for taking my call. Call me Buck. Of course, Buck. I hear you're a bit of a wild card. Hard to control, and a general pain in the behind. <laughs> Don't believe everything you hear. I also hear you're the best pilot around. Okay. Believe some of what you hear. We here at BC pride ourselves on fast, safe delivery. Yeah, I can do that. With emphasis on the fast part. We don't usually hire freelancers, but our demand is very high now. I don't usually work for other people, and my need is very high now. So we're even. Good. So we're on the same page. Yeah, it's not exactly rocket science. You give me crates filled with stuff, then I take them where you want them to go. ASAP. Very good. If the first delivery meets my expectations, there will be more work for you. Good luck, Mr. Man. Wow, Susanna's hot. How do you know? I did not see you take her temperature. Androids. Alright then, so we can close this down. We can't go to engineering yet. This is our first, like, mission delivery. So, we've got so many star rating. But we'll start it off. Sir, we are ready to load cargo onto the ship. Remember, BC prides themselves on fast, safe delivery. Yeah, I know the drill. We are ready to rocket and roll. So before... Don't forget you said that. Let's get this old crate moving. So before you can actually set off, you need to put your cargo down and at least a engine. Um, I don't think these change down here. Different cargo types and some bigger car cargo types. You know the ships change. You press details here if necessary. Give you a bit of information about the health, how many squares to take, if it's repairable and the company. 
um, it gets more dangerous later on, even the cargo, and we've got a weapon. And after we've done this level, we can actually go to engineering and uh, have a look. Oh, the upgrades. So, let's continue. And um, we'll get going. Captain Boxer, threat detection radar has been activated. To my luck, I'm sure something will pop up soon. So Small, but still deadly asteroids, asteroids are coming towards us. I suggest we prepare quickly. Sometimes I hate being right. So basically, the lines show where things are going to come Ready from. Action. So you know where to build stuff. Tells you how many to come in six. Small asteroids. It will come up up here in a minute. Details. Down here is bonuses, basically, depending on how fast you actually deliver the cargo. As you can see, some of these will change slowly because of the speed difference. So a small asteroid. Have a look. It's got, was it 100 hit if it hits us? Only 15 health and it's small so cannot be targeted by missiles. Some can be, the larger ones and whatnot. Let's continue. So we've got no money. So these should get destroyed because our laser does quite a bit of damage. So we've got some ships, pirate ships. So we need another, another one. So you can see where it's coming up here. And build this right here away. so when they come straight into that one and it's Ready coming out front get some details on them in a minute let's say it, let's say you start getting hooked you get things coming from all directions from behind so the ship gets humongous the only thing i'm uh, kind of missing on it is actually zoom in the game so it's a small kind of be attacked by missiles um, HP is 1, so it's going to die instantly, and it has you've got actually a weapon. You actually fight ships like yourself later on as well, some with weapons, some with none. It's die easy. You can see asteroids there, and down here, so you can do another gun down here to get there. And then we'll start building some engines in a minute. Keep an eye on it so don't get destroyed. Got space for like two more engines back there. See it goes up anyway. You got it. Thruster ready there. to burn. Yeah, we've got all this lovely stuff to collect if we can. Just need to be careful that nothing hits the ship. So some got past. We'll repair that in a minute. 15, 15, 15. So. Okay. We'll repair that one. We've got another engine in now. So we can get uh, this one because they're going faster still, but they're getting away. Thruster, ready to this go. One. Kick in and look at that. We should catch up. No reason why we shouldn't. We've got the uh, all the engines well. And probably build another engine on if necessary. So you might be getting away. And sell one of these and build another engine on. Yeah, we're near the end of the cycle. No, I think we've beaten them. Job well done. No. I was hoping we'll be able to get them before they cross, but then get like Max Star. Uh, no worries. I say it's pretty bad for the first mission, really, in a way. But let's like say you can upgrade your ship later on, which makes them a lot easier. We should have a look well at now. Done, sir. You will be happy to know. Big Cargo has paid you for the delivery. Did Susanna tip? Let's not push it, Captain Buck. I suggest you reinvest some of this newfound wealth into ship improvements. Sure. I'm a firm believer that change is good. 
Especially when it helps keep me breathing. Excellent. After each successful space run, you should visit the engineering section. This is where all the most successful captains go to purchase new modules for their ships. You can also upgrade existing ship features here too. I'm giddy with anticipation. I have been monitoring the airwaves and noticed your reputation is growing. I've always had a rep. Yes, but now your reputation is positive. As your reputation continues to grow, I am sure you will be entrusted with more deliveries. As a bonus, you will have access to more powerful modules and abilities in the engineering section. It's good being me. So here we go, let's have a look at engineering. So engineering you can upgrade weapons, this is one of the best ones for early on. Basically it allows you, you, you know, your laser points forward. Um, you can actually ro reorientate it as it says here. And you can pick it like chewing up, chewing down, whichever you want. I mean it's absolutely awesome. We get force fields so we can have some shields. Um, we can upgrade our thrusters which I don't like this one really. This probably is pretty good but I never seem to get it. Basically you turn off your engine and you get 50 um, credits. Containers you can't do and this one's just the enemies. So basically you, uh, once we get 8 reputation we get missiles which is good against the bigger ships. But for now uh, our shields will be good but this is a lot better. Especially this early on. We're going to save up. Get lost. That's one I said I didn't like that one, so I'm not gonna buy it. We've got power generated. Certain things require power and whatnot. So let's go to the delivery and we'll have a look. So next we've got three containers. So we'll start. Start to start, start see different ship layout. And like I said every time, first things first, you've got to plan out where you're gonna put these. Remember you have to defend these, so Sometimes it's complicated because you need to remember they can attack. Uh, if you've got no weapons there, they can attack there. So I'm just going to go like that. So you get an engine here. Um, I don't know if they're going to attack from behind on this one, but we can have an engine here, an engine here, or one here, or one here. But for now, we can go there. So it's good. It's a shame in a way, really. I thought you'd have more design over the ship. Like the actual layout, and you can read off of that. Why it'd been pretty cool in the game. It's a shame we don't, but again, make it a lot harder. So there's no good building anything first, because if you build it first, you don't know where they're coming from. So that will go there. Consider it done. Because I can reorientate it. Which this baby has I can go like this and just switch it around. So it's awesome. You can attack there twice. So. I'll oh, stick another gun in there. Uh, yeah. Consider it done. And these will get slaughtered. This baby has teeth. Not many coming, like I say we probably can talk about with one gun really. This one here. But this is more of a back this one can't really change much. Uh, die, then get some asteroids out front. So, Your there. wish is my command. So I don't think I'll be putting anything there. This baby has that would be ideal for a shield, maybe. We can set this, this, this. If you ever have shields, and here they come. So what you do is you just switch it forward, and I give him extra cover at the front there. And Consider it done. This baby has and, yeah. and that'll cover all this front. Loads of stuff. Then we're going to bring in a, another an engine here, I think an engine here. I'll probably leave these ones for guns, just in case we need them. I said you never know where they're coming from. I said on your first go, I said on your second go, there are bosses in the game. Here we go, something bigger now, a light transport. You can see it's got different colour hexagons on it. I like that one. And Eight, that's quite a lot there actually. Your wish is my command. And you can see green are engines, yellow this is baby I think has it could be either this or it could be cargo. I'm not sure. We'll put an engine in. Your wish is my command. 
I can't bring it in. I don't know how it's going to put fit, but I like the gun so Cluster, ready to go. So here they are, yep. So, press some details. So basically, the yellow is the cargo, orange is the command unit, and the green are their engines. They have no weapons. And that's why I bummed all them pointing that way. Hopefully, take these out at the same time. But I have got to change it like this. It's not good. We can attack from behind now, but we can We get a large amount of stuff. If we destroy the command thing though, we will get the whole ship will blow up basically. Right. There we go, we get a load of stuff and there's some more coming. Someone another gun. Build an engine, I've got loads of points. Right away. Your wish is my command. Thruster, ready to go. One. Wow, we will get there we go, we've got enough to get this one anyway. So here we go. Oh, So we'll beat the uh, light speed delivery. So we probably won't destroy this one. We'll just probably destroy this one now. I'm not too worried. I'm gonna never done. Oh, okay. <laughs> as as we're not behind this, I'm not too worried. It gives you a rough idea of how the time's doing and whatever else. So, so when they, if they got weapons, they're supposed to show you a red ring around it. They destroy it. And then we get attacked by all directions in a minute. There's a lot of them, so be careful. I don't know if that'll be enough, but I'm not too worried. Might re 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 repair. Oh, so that would be good if I had a shield there, yeah, I mean, just protect us. They're not that strong, it's just a little lot of them. I don't care to take out an engine way too fast. Oh, look at all this lovely stuff. Yeah, we're at the end now anyway. A few damage, like I said, a zoom would have been nice in the game, but unfortunately there's not one. Where there is, I don't know it. Yippee! Did I just say yippee? Yes, you did. You can always replay a level. <coughs> There we go, delivery time, you get bonus money, because we did it in light speed, so, which is awesome, see? Sir, I have an incoming communication from Nuclear Star. Put him through. Mr. Man, your recent exploits have come to our attention. As I am sure you are aware, we are the leader in transportation of nuclear material in the known world. Oh, who can forget your motto? We do nuclear waste right. Yes, exactly. Due to a chain reaction of recent events, we find ourselves in need of a new space runner. I figure this wasn't a social call. My boys, I mean my associates and I, want you to be that space runner. If it works out, you will be able to brag to all your buddies you have a glamorous job in nuclear waste. And we will offer more work. How's the pay? Are there any benefits? He could really use a good dental plan. Uh, well, you see, due to the volatile nature of our product, we can't offer you insurance or benefits, but our rates are very competitive. Plus, if something were to happen to you, we do put a nice note in our blog. How touching. I've read that blog. I should mention that, due to the explosive tendencies of our product, speedy delivery is a must. Don't worry. I'm not one to take the scenic route. Excellent, then. Of course, you understand, the less damage our product takes during delivery, the happier our clients will be, and the safer you'll be. We don't care so much about your safety, but we like happy clients. Touching. 
I should probably note that our competition will stop at nothing to stop you. It is a dirty business. If it were easy, everybody would do it. <laughs> I like you. Let's get this job rolling. So now we have another company. I said, as he said, we have, I said, explosive. Which we'll go into a minute. We can skip that and go to this one where we've got a new one on here. This is quite interesting. You use the nuggets you collect and you can actually set that off and it will build one of these containers on a blank one. Blank hexagon. So that's pretty cool. We'll go for this one quickly. This will probably be the last one because like I said, I'm just doing a let's take a look. So it is rather interesting and like I said, you get hooked. But let's look at the upgrades first. So, I want four steel. I actually like this one. And that's awesome. So, recharge is very, very important. And I think that's about it, really. So, the other upgrades, that's pretty cool. But it needs power. And like I say, I normally put a shield instead near it. Because power doesn't spread out very far. Then you've got the... Um, High energy shot, which I believe requires power as well. <laughs> I wouldn't hold me to that one, but uh, I believe it does. Yes, yeah, just down here, look, power to make it more powerful. But it's how it goes. But force fields are really good one, especially for explosive containers. So the delivery, we got three of these containers. I said if they get shot up and destroyed, it does cause problems as it goes through here. At the lovely notes so it's got 200 health and one hexagon so it's non repairable and radioactive so if it destroys it does damage to the actual hexagons so I'm gonna do that and I put that there Problem is it looks wonky. I, I wish there's a way to like upgrade this or change this later on or increase how much you can put. I don't know if you can, but I've not seen it so far. So I've been playing it quite a bit. And I've not seen any extra down here. So I can hit this and all this is doesn't really do anything. It just like removes it all if you decide you don't like it. I said some of these actually get really big. Some of these will take up to um was it free spaces and humongous the actual size of the ship and some of the designs are very strange got like a manta ray kind of thing here which is cool I said your ship does not it's not the only one with upgrades these ones down at the bottom one as well even with the one engine it'll feel like well wait a minute I'm losing ground here you know I mean? notice so we get attacked from behind by normal asteroids which is fantastic. So, we'll put one excellent there. choice. And one. right away. Asteroids. These Ready are bigger action. than the normal asteroids. So, if we had missiles, missiles would have been better there because we can actually hit them. We'll come up in a minute. On the good old details, because the last one was small. Or well, asteroids, meter, or whatever asteroids. Yeah, it's got more health, as you can see, and does a lot more damage, I believe, 300, but these do only 100, but we get more nugget, so there's only three coming from behind, so I'm not too worried, so these will take it out, I said they do uh, about 15 damage per shot, so I need about 15 anyway, too sure, okay, we've got ships coming from the top, which, right away. So I might, it might have been better if I got Ready the actual um, What? Can I say ouch? Uh, ouch. Yeah. You can, that's not good. Oh, so he's took out one of these. So I should have probably got the missiles before doing this mission, but yeah. Not too worry. Ready for action. So I probably put them in the wrong place. I should have probably put them along there. Eh, eh. No worries. Right 
right away. I'm gonna win there, I think. I'm gonna bring an engine there, Ready I suppose. We'll be alright. We will survive, because it's what I do best. So you live and learn on this game, I say. Missiles would definitely would have been better because I can't remember how much damage missiles do, but I believe they do a lot. So, so that extra gun would just help for finish them anyway. So this has got a wider arc. So I should probably should put that one there and put engines there, but a big we got a smuggler which is very dangerous. It's my pleasure to serve. As you can see, it's got a load of reds there. Red this is attacked. So. Yep. So it can actually shoot the ship. Quite as much guns as I can fight. Pointing this way. Right away. So. Right away. So you can see the guns there, same guns have I got, so so you can see the red ring here, or red arc, these are in range. So a couple of shields would be pretty good if I have the uh, money. Uh, Excellent choice. Nothing brings joy to my heart like watching a pirate blow up. When we get a chance, we'll have to buy a new engine. But we're never going to catch up with these two. You can see. Okay, engine time. Excellent choice. So we can get through the shield. Thruster ready to go. Right away. Right this will protect us. There you go. One more here. Alright, in the range in. Your wish is my command. Should catch up with this one now. Thruster ready to go. There you go. So it's in the green. Is we're catching up. Aye, aye, my captain. So let's Ready see if we can put a uh, another engine in it. I'm still getting further and further ahead. Come on. Never engine. Yeah. It's Ooh. my pleasure to serve. Thruster ready to go. Probably not a good place to put it, but no worries. That's like putting a square peg in a triangular hole. I love doing that. Yes, because that's... This is why this one's so important, this ability. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we're not going to catch up with that one. There's some wild head now, it's at max. No chance. Unless we go at that speed. <laughs> Be fine, we just repair this. <gasps> Slow it down. Sell everything. We did it again, Captain. <laughs> we are the A team of space runners. Yeah, you know, we started off pretty bad, we lost one of these, but no worries. I said, not bad. Not bad money. Times two, so yeah. 
So there we go, like I said you can't do this mission to do the previous one. There'll be boss like I said there's bosses in the game you'll notice by a skull here. A red flashing skull and crossbones. So you've got all these different companies here and I don't know how many missions there is per company. And like I said, missiles I've unlocked them now, which is awesome. I said you got a twin blaster here which I which is pretty cool but it requires power to use I believe. Which yeah, one power is see. So you gotta build uh, one of these before you can actually build it, so yeah. it just works to the adjacent block. If you could spread it out a bit more, like I said you can get bigger power supply, bigger engines and all stuff like that later on in the game. So it's if you redo the missions you re get you get the actual credits and stuff like that so you can soon mount up quite a bit of money and bits and pieces and like I said different skills and abilities it's all well different abilities anyway not any much skills anyway <laughs> but I said look at this ship what it's showing here so it shows you some of the stuff you can actually get and bits and pieces it's not everything here like I said some new stuff some old stuff but there we go so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little I uh, say quick I've probably been playing for a bit again of space run and I'll see you again soon right bye for now